Um, <laughs> no one responds. It's fine. Is this a country act? Big, big, con- big ball country. I love it. I like your little swag today. Thank you. Sorry, back to you. <laughs> I, I like the big buck hunters here too. Um, so for you, um, you passed Rebecca Brunson and you became the franchise all-time leader leader in defensive rebounding. Um, just what does it mean for you to to be up there with her in, in yet another yet another milestone? Well, first it means I'm old if I'm still playing and breaking BB records. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's an honor. I mean, I think it's a credit to our organization and the things that we've done uh, over our years here as a link. And I'm just happy to have somebody like BB to look up to, but it's always good to break her records. Uh, and then Cheryl said too that, you know, in addition to the knee issue that you're having, you're dealing with some plantar fascia coming into the game. Um, but it looks like you're actually moving better today than you were, you know, really the last right. you know, handful of games. Mm-hmm. Um, just can you explain just how you were feeling and then, um, you know, just how you were able to take advantage of that early in the third quarter? Um, I think it started this morning. You know how when everything just hurts, but you really can't buy until everything hurt because, you know, you're on a mission and you got things to do. And so I just had high energy from this morning getting on everybody's nerves. <laughs> um, but basically, that's the mentality that you have to have. Like, I think all my teammates have something going on. And I don't want to give myself excuses either. So today was a challenge just to see how far can I push through it. Um, we got a good stretch ahead of us with these next two games. And I'm just challenging myself as I go. Um, I don't want to do anything too too stupid. But at the same time, I do I do want to see how well I can play with these challenges. So you took the first half, and this was very, very on the links, like as of late, just couldn't make shots, mm-hmm. getting back on defense. Was there any reason for that, or was it just one of those things? Um, I think it's a combination of both. I think we was doing things that was too hard. Uh, we was making bonehead decisions, turning the ball over, not getting back in transition. But you also don't want to take anything away from Dallas because they did a really good job defensively. They came out aggressive. And so I think that bothers us a little bit. And second half, I think we kind of settled into it. And we kind of understood, like, what the mission was and how can we get past that. And Rachel, a big key part of that second half was your performance tonight. Buckets. Um, one, how's the ankle? It's all right. That's, it's a little okay. tender, but it's a classic, you know, step on someone's foot doesn't feel good. Yeah. Well, I know you mentioned earlier, you're just kind of, the shots are just falling out. It's not like you're especially feeling it, but well, it sure looks like it again tonight, didn't it? You really able to kind of give this team a lift in your performance? Yeah. Um, like I said, I kind of last game, just trying to play confident. I think that we could have been more aggressive in the first half, like us guards. I think that we kind of just like settled on the perimeter, just moving side to side rather than getting in the paint or creating shots for others. So um, I tried to bring that out a little bit more in the second half and it worked out all right. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed in my turnovers, but um, yeah, it's always nice when shots are falling. Yeah. As, uh, when you see Sill on a bad knee with a sore foot, playing through, what, 37 minutes the other night and come out tonight and play like this, do you just kind of like ever step back and just go, my God, this is just amazing? Yeah, I think that like every night. She's insane. And I always think too, like when I'm tired and feeling some type of way, I'm like, still can do it. I can do it. You know, like I look at her and I'm like, she's fighting through a lot. She's been playing, doing this for so many more years. Like, playing so many minutes. I don't, I tell her, I was like, I don't know how you do it. So it always like helps me be tougher, um, being able to look at that and see what she does. A little disappointing, you know, as a team that you guys couldn't, couldn't match her from start to finish tonight? Yes. For sure. Um, I don't know. We kind of got away from that a little bit. I don't know what, what the deal was tonight. Um, like I said, I think we had a, a better second half, but that first half, I don't I don't know what happened. So, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. We need to play more desperate. Like, we need to realize the situation that we're in, and if we want to make a playoff run, like, we need to play like that every single night from start to finish. It's not going to be perfect, but effort shouldn't be in the conversation anymore. Like, we're professional athletes. We know how to get it done. So I think that's the biggest thing. Like, we need to play pissed, and, you know, I'm hoping that's what we do tomorrow. Rachel, for you, it looks like, you know, you really sought out Sill uh, in the two-man game, especially in that, that third, late in the third quarter, early in the fourth quarter. Um, <laughs> we just, talk about this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. Um, when, when you say you, you want to play desperate and you want to, you know, play pissed, for you, that's, you know, getting in, into a ball screen and letting go of three or mid-range jump side. Is that something that 
you know, you feel like you need to start doing earlier in the game, or yeah. is it just more a matter of it becomes more of a necessity when you're down twenty one at half? Yeah, I think I think for the most part I've done a decent job of like being aggressive, but tonight, like I don't think I started off aggressive enough. And and I was saying to so like I wasn't setting up my ball screens enough. Like she was setting good screens, but I wasn't setting it up and coming off of them. I was letting him just ride me off every time and then I had to just pass it. You know, so we talked about that, like being able to play pitches and then I'm cutting off her back door and then she hit me on that one. So we talked about that. We just gotta do better with that. And I need to and that starts with me, um, because I know like we connect really, really well. So I got to come out with that same mentality from the jump right away. And I think we'll be fine. We'll do that.